Okay, so I noticed that I'm, um, I've got a kind of combination of things happening with me. I'm kind of a bit, I don't know, wound up or winding myself up. I've got a lot of energy and I do that when I, A, I kind of get excited, but then I, it's easy for me to tip into a sort of a, a bit, being a bit speedy. So. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, so I'm kind of just like aware of that and slowing myself down. I'm naming that. And I also notice I feel a bit, um, just a little bit of kind of heaviness, just carrying stuff with me. So I'm aware of these things that are influencing me right now in terms of being present with you. Okay. So I'm wondering about your experience. It's still early in the morning for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in my body very much. Right. What, what, what's your morning time? Like, what, what's a good, good time do you emerge? I emerge around um, <laughs> 8.39, but uh. until I you know, do my practice and everything. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, I'm not aware of this particular energies you just described. Mm. Uh, perhaps a little bit of heaviness in the heart. Mm. And do you know what that happiness is connected to? If you, I don't know if it's connected to right now. I don't want to make an assumption mm. quickly. Sure. But uh, yeah, it feels like a hesitation. Mm. Uh, well, perhaps it's yeah because I'm in a stage in my life that is. Um, transitioning mm -hmm. so I'm not sure like I'm, I'm I'm just watching I don't know what's the next step let's say mm. and the transition can you tell me a bit more about the, the feeling of that transition uncertainty mm -hmm. uh, there's a, a f underlying fear of like what will be the right choice and there is may, oh, maybe that's the like behind that this, it, it feels like there is a kind of which I need to be in control of because I don't know the move um, like a hastiness like a, okay yeah just figure it out you know, just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so perhaps, you know, mm. that's related with uh, what you... The speediness, said, speediness yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, as you're talking, I'm, I'm getting in touch with something about my own process, the process in the moment in my life, mm. which there's also a, like, a, I mean, just entering into some kind of transition place, and I also have quite a lot of uncertainty in this place, and, uh, and some heavy, heavy, heaviness, and... Um, uh, yeah, I, I notice it's easy for me to kind of want to organize, okay, what's next, or what do I need to do, or, or to, to, to facilitate something happening next that, that allows me to step to the next place of certainty. And I I'm, I'm just was aware of that this morning and kind of cognizant of, how I, of doing that, like that is what I'm doing, I'm noticing that, and I'm like, Right, okay, well that's how I maintain my sense of okayness or something, is like move from, from one solid place and I say, okay, well let's work out, it looks like that's going to be it, as compared to sort of being with the, the uncertainty and whatever free-floating anxiety is there if I allow myself to, to slow down a bit, so yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, I think now that you, I'm hearing you talking, um, stability is a place that for me that I can relax. Mm. You know, it's more like, uh, yeah, it's a more relaxing place for me. Mm. Sure. Although I can move, uh, you know, with, uh, you know, things happening, but I have to set up myself as like, okay, this is like a journey now. It's, mm. but I kind of enjoy, uh, um, you know, I, I'm enjoying the setting of the home. Let's say I have the image now. I'm talking like the home with the fireplace, mm -hmm. uh, you know, your partner in, yeah. you know, just uh, yeah. so I kind of enjoy that as much as I enjoy adventure as well. 
Mm. I like to have my a bass, and I guess I don't have a bass right now, mm. and I don't know what, where my next bass will be. Mm. I'm in a very similar position. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. And I also like to have that bass that I can move from. And I also don't have that right now. So yeah, I take a breath, and I just feel a little, a little, my emotion come up as I say that, and I'm wondering what you're in touch with as we're talking about this. It's just a, a slight, um, a sl- like a very subtle f- feeling of anxiety in the mm. s- solar plexus. Mm. Well, if it's okay with you, um, what I invite you to do, and, and I'll kind of do the same thing at the same time, is to sit with this anxiety rather than moving to these other places that are a little bit more secure or comforting. You know, so just make sure that you're breathing and allowing your, your breath to move in that place. And, um, I'm interested in, in how you experience your anxiety in your body and I'm also attending to how I experience mine. Well, I'm experiencing like a sort of constriction that um, kind of um, blocks a bit the inhalation. Mm. So, and I'm, I keep having this shape, which I don't know, like it feels like this, mm-hmm. but I don't really know what that is, you know. Mm. Yeah, so there's your inhalation and then there's your constriction. Yeah, in the inhalation is mostly the constriction mm. in the upper. Mm. Yeah, and again, and as I notice my process, I can also feel the variety of my constriction as well. Mm. Yeah, it's it's here, and it's a bit on the throat as well, like mm. uh, something is. Uh, yeah. Something is blocking the throat as well. Mm-hmm. It's interesting as we sit in silence and I'm watching this. There's again that feeling of uh, hastiness, kind of mm. like I want to figure it out. Yeah, yeah I get that. <laughs> yeah, or I want to resolve it. Better. Yeah, I mean, it, it feels completely like. get that. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So for me to be with this place, I have to slow down, mm-hmm. <laughs> slow myself down quite consciously, and slow my even my my body, my rhythm. Speeding up, that as I describe it, you describe it as hastiness. It's like a uh, yeah, I do this slowing down process. I move my hand like this to slow myself down because otherwise it's hard. I find it hard to stay with uncertain feeling. Mm. Yeah, it's fine. It's, it's it's almost like this is definitely not comfortable with slowing down. This mm. it's like it's fast moving mm. and mm. yeah. Because if I slow down enough, I'm going to start feeling more, and I'm not sure I want to feel all those things that are in there. I'm laughing because I guess I'm. It's like oh, still I feel a little uncomfortable with. What's in there?
Mm. It's definitely about taking action. This energy, you know, it wants mm. to take action. Yeah, I, I, I'm right there with that. I notice all the what I do mentally as I start thinking. Okay, you know, I'm, I'm like plotting it out. I'm, I'm moving into action. Yeah. Mm. So if, if if we both slow down and and take a step back from the action, then you know we're in this different zone or this potentially more vulnerable or anxiety place. And wh one of the significances for me right now is that um, we, uh, you, know, you and me, are in a sense in this place together. I mean, you're in your place and I'm in mine, mm. but we're, there's some kind of um, being with each other in this place of anxiety or being with ourselves and each other in this place of anxiety if we both slow down enough to move away from the action enough to to really be present so th i'm i'm interested in um you know not only naming that but kind of like s stepping a little bit more into this experience right now so it's kind of like you know you're not entirely alone in that place i'm not entirely alone in this place because we're doing this in parallel It's funny, I cannot relate with what you're going through right mm, now because, mm. you know, I'm really feeling it. Yeah, sure. No. So I'm more into my sphere of... Yeah, life. that's fine. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm very available to you, I guess, in the sense that okay. by slowing myself down, I, I become more available to you in this place. Mm. Mm. It's like... I'm willing to hang out a bit more in this place so I can also be with you, mm -hmm. you know, without jumping into something else. Yeah, it's funny because I would like you to jump into something else. <laughs> <You know>? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not something else, like um, yeah. to, to the action, yes. you know? Like I'm holding the action, you take it, you know? Yeah, no, I get that. So, yeah, then, then my invitation right now is, well, what happens if, we, if you and I don't do that and we, we stay in this place and what, what is the experience that starts to emerge, particularly you know, the feelings in your body, I'm inviting you to notice. Yeah, well, there's not much happening in my mind right now, it's mm. like kind of still, mm. but um, it's uh, uh, more in my body, it's mm. like I feel the um, constriction in mm. yeah, it's almost like when, when you have a chest affection and you breathe and you feel a bit there uh, mm. yeah I know that feeling so that constriction in your chest I'm familiar with my own version of that mm. If you describe that a little bit more to me it's like um, like an image you want yeah an image or well, the image I have is, uh, I cannot, uh, it's like almost a ring with uh, wires, like either three or four in mm -hmm. each side, hooked, like hooked on the sides, on the mm -hmm. ribs. So every time I breathe, it's like it's mm. pulling, it doesn't yeah. allow it, you know. Mm -hmm. so if you and it's all metal. Right. So if you imagine yourself as this ring with the metal wires, the three wires, hooking into Theo's chest, and you describe yourself as this you know, constrictive piece, tell me something about yourself. You'd say, I, I'm metal, I'm um, made of wire, I'm... Mm. What else would you say about yourself? Well, I'm... Um, um, I don't know, it's like sharp in the ends, not sharp, like, mm -hmm. like, like hooks you know. or something. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. pointy, you know. And it, it looks like a spider, you so know. So say, I, I'm like a spider. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm like a spider. Uh, I'm still, like I don't move. Mm -hmm. Stagnant. I'm, I'm, I'm hooked, mm -hmm. you know. Mm. I'm looking upward. I'm 
become strong mm. like um, not rigid mm. It's almost like I don't know how to move. Mm. You're a bit frozen or something. Yeah, it's just this rigidness. It's You're like rigid, yeah, right. it's like metal, and uh, it's almost like you know you, the brain can say move, and mm. nothing knows how to interpret that um, uh, command. Mm. Right, so if you go back to being Theo, you've got this sort of metal spider on your chest that's kind of looking up at you and it's quite rigid. What, 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 what would be your response to that spider? What would you say to it? Or <laughs> Okay, I don't know, relax. Mm. Uh, I don't know, it's confusing because it's metal. Mm. And, and it's like, what do you do with metal? Mm. It's almost like it can't relax. It's just, it's just yeah, it's, it's, it, yeah, it's it's kind of set, you know. Mm. Mm. Even if I tell the spider unhook, mm. even if she wants to unhook, it's almost like from the body of the spider to the edges. Like the body looks more um, above the hook is the body, mm. and looks more biological, more alive. Mm. And anything below the body, like the ring, and the, mm. uh, it looks metal. Like mm. it's not there's no communication, you know. And it's mm. not a it's not a robotic arm. It's mm. just metal pieces. It's not you know. It's disconnected a bit. Almost yeah, it's disconnected. It's connected, yeah, it's but not mecha not mechanically connected. Not even. mechanically. Mm. Not neurologically. Well, yeah. You know, it's just two different pieces. You know. Mm. So if you come back into the present, I'm interested in um, these elements, disconnection, rigidity. Can you tell me your experience right now? I'm just trying to look at the like the two words you said, disconnection and rigidity. Mm -hmm. Okay, so don't think too hard, don't try too hard. Okay. You know, it's a, a, a more kind of relaxed process in a way because, you know, it's just see what emerges, so mm -hmm. to speak. So I, I'm interested if I, if I take a bit of a step into what would you recognize or identify in your experience, in your life, in your relationship as having some quality of that kind of disconnection or that rigidity? Well, I'm not in a relationship right now. Mm -hmm. So... But I'm disconnecting with. Maybe my frustration with life Mm -hmm. My frustration with myself, my choices. Mm. Definitely with... 
Now, now there's a personal element with this frustration and there's a more collective element with mm -hmm. frustration, like looking at what's happening to the world and saying, what the fuck are we doing? Mm -hmm. And then the same kind of thing is, what the fuck am I doing, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a twofold. I mean, like what's unfolding right now, uh, as I'm saying about this twofold, Yeah. Well, it's I don't know. I mean, it's kind of coming like a lot now. It's like like life, or it feels like puts me in, in a place that I have to, you know, uh, make it for myself for survival. Mm. Or survival in the bigger sense, you sure. know. Just uh, I don't have an issue of survival, but uh, you know, just making it, you know, in the way that uh, you know, we're conditioned to make it. You know, uh, mm. make money, mm -hmm, do this, mm -hmm, be mm -hmm. successful. And all my interest now, it's more about what's happening on the planet and can we wake up and uh, just can we start caring about each other and caring about the planet, mm, being in a more collective kind of uh, loving mm. mentality instead mm. of some disconnection and greed and mm. me, 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 mm. me. Mm. So it's almost like I think there's a big conflict between the two inside of me between the two the like with the conditioning mm. like what 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 the survival mm. uh, or success means right. in this society mm. Mm. and what i'm called you know to, like i don't have the the way like i i don't give a shit about trying to uh, mm. make money and mm. uh, but i i need it because you know mm. we need to yeah, move sure. in life you know but it doesn't inspire me mm. Uh, like I, you know, like it's almost like I'm convincing myself to be inspired by it, because then I can have what I want, or mm. then I can do what I want. Mm. But it doesn't speak to my heart, you know. Mm. Yeah, in in almost never did. Mm. And I have the pressure from what I see around me, especially being here in the mm. U.S. That everybody has to be successful and Make it. Mm. find your purpose and your purpose has to do with finding your vocation and making it a profession and mm. making it successful mm. and doing it better than everybody mm. else it's, just, it's, it's completely out of errors out of love for me mm. i and cannot fall in love with that right right and yet that's a voice which you have to contend with internally yeah. and externally yeah, yeah. so maybe we can kind of represent these two voices is that the the right word for them? Okay. Um, these two worlds, these two forces, these two voices, and so, um, w what would be a, like a symbol of the voice of achieve and make it and be successful? Well, it's something that's very strict in appearance. Oh, okay. It's uh, like either a man with a suit and mm -hmm. tie. Right. And or vertical lines. Okay, well let's make it the man with the suit, embody yeah. it, okay. And and what would be the, the image, the embodiment of the the world and the eros well, of the, the world? Well, the first image I have is uh, I'm almost naked, mm -hmm. or maybe with like this little thing that mm -hmm. Tarzan wears he has <laughs> <laughs> on a naked horse, uh, sorry, on, on the back of a horse without uh, settle. Settle, right. Yeah. Okay. And riding around, see what's happening here, helping out, going there, <coughs> going out. And right. You know, just l living in this kind of, uh, yeah, eating from the earth. And right. Or from France, you know, meeting friends and right. all sit together, right. cook together. The tribe. And, and yeah, and tribe, yeah. yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to invite you to do, if you're okay with this, is to to play out an encounter between these two characters. So what I'm thinking is we can stand up and you can sort yeah. of <laughs> even put them in the same space. It's interesting how they're going to meet. You well, know? that's they're right. So I know they are, and yet they're kind of you know yeah. warring within you, so to speak. So, so I'm I'm putting them in in nature in front of each okay, other you know okay. it's an open field that's an open field because there's no way the horse can go it's not no okay freaking way horses in, okay there's, there's no way you can go in the okay. city so know? that's the setting it's the open field yeah so if you're okay we can stand up and because i want you to embody these two positions okay. move the chairs back and um so okay so there's, there's two positions one is um the 
you know, you're on the horse, mm -hmm. and the other is you're the man in the suit. You're perfect for the man in the suit. If, <laughs> if you even wear similar Excellent. colors. Excellent. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll stand in this position, <laughs> then, right, we then we can kind we'll of swap yeah. over. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I'm just going to be here, all stiff and rigid, and you know, kind of the man in the suit, mm -hmm. plotting that part, and you're being the dude on the horse with the loincloth and the tribe. So, what do you want to say to me? I guess the first thing that came is to un uh, to take your shoes oh, off and start yeah. tickling you, something okay. like okay. that. So, <laughs> to, so to do it in words, like tell me. Yeah. I okay. It. So yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not doing it. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Don't worry about it. I'm not doing it. Yeah. No, it. that's okay. <laughs> we'll do the words first. Uh, so yeah, it's just uh, the first thing is like before even having a conversation, mm. it's like taking the tie off and and putting the um, jacket down and just play, you know, just. Mm. I just want to play, that's yeah, the message. Yeah, yeah. I want to play, I want to tickle, I want to you know, unstiffen you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's the first. Uh, mm. And the, uh, as I'm doing this, this also I'm aware that there's a bigger force next to me, which is a horse, mm -hmm. which is very strong, very tall, mm. it's brown, uh, so very muscular. Right, like so very, uh, you, you know, step into that can feel your power. Yeah, the horse is not in a hurry. But oh. it's very strong. Oh, okay, so you can feel your strength. Yeah, mm. I think that the 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 hastiness is in the guy with okay. the suit. Yeah, you know, right. it has to get time on everything on, at, yeah. on time, okay. everything yeah. on yeah. time, yeah. everything the deadline. It, you know, yeah, yeah, it's okay. finishing time. Yeah. And serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, serious, serious and 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 uh, it's 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 more like the the overwhelming quality of that man. Is uh, have to make it, have to make it on time. Yeah. It's like this I'm type thing, yeah. Getting there. Which is very similar to what I'm experiencing mm. is happening in big mm. cities, you know, like yeah, of here course. and the uh, whole cities. Uh, yeah, the, 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 it's almost like everything has to go yeah. fast. Okay. You know? So now what I want to do is physically swap. I'm going to stand in the horse position. Okay. You can stand in the suit position. Okay. Okay. So now I'm I'm here with the big horse and my loincloth, and I just want to tickle you and. You're in the. Uh, so yeah, I will get angry with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, because it, it feels very exposing, you know, to just uh, be naked in nature. I don't know how to survive. Yeah. So just the fact that I'm na naked is is kind of confronting for you. No. No. Actually. Uh, so if, if I, I look at you, mm -hmm. I actually will feel a bit um, safer. Oh. Okay. Beca because because if I look at you you give me a, a model that oh I can actually do this oh, I mean if someone okay. else is doing it right. you know, I can I can learn okay well that. let's stay with this then okay so in fact you you feel kind of comfortable in a sense with me is that right yes but if you ask me to step uh, okay now that's okay you, you, you stay over there and I'll stay over here yeah 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 so so I feel comfortable looking at you like is that uh, like um I can see your body in relation to me, mm -hmm. like your body is like more tanned, mine mm -hmm. is more white, mm -hmm. yours is more muscular, more healthy, mm -hmm. mine is more uh, anemic, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. I don't, it's like weak, yeah. no, it's not weak, like because I'm going to the gym and it's, but it feels like anemic, you know, mm. it feels like out of life the force, you know, or something. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and the body I'm, I'm looking at, it's, it's uh, the, the, the one in nature is more strong, mm. it's more, mm -hmm. um, grounded. Okay, so you're okay to be with me. Mm. Mm. Okay, so let's swap. There's also, oh. you know, mm -hmm. looking at this body, mm -hmm. I'm feeling tears coming up. Oh, okay. It's like I must have forgotten something, you know. Right, okay, so stay with that feeling then. Breathe. Notice what those, the feelings that are coming up are. It's a longing, you know. Yeah. Okay, so stay with the longing and stay connected to me. Keep your eyes open because, the, you know, you're longing for something over here. Yeah, I'm looking at you yeah. in my imagination. Okay, anyway, so well, keep it present as okay. much as you can so we stay in the, the relationship. Okay, so your longing is directed over here. You're, you're in this life and you've got the suit and everything and yet you're longing for this. Yeah, it, it's, mm. it reminds me something I've forgotten. Yeah. Oh. Take a breath. So breathe, be with all those feelings. Mm. Difficult when I'm looking at you. Oh, it okay. takes me out. out when I okay, see enough. the yeah, image, yeah, yeah, okay. my imagination is keeps that's, me. That's cool. Then you can close your eyes. Yeah, whatever um, helps you be present with this. Yeah. So I'm looking uh, uh, at you, mm -hmm. and I, I I'm reminded like it's I'm looking at the body. 
that is more alive, has more life. Mm. And mine feels better. Yeah. You know, it's, it's the, and then I'm looking at the horse as well. And I know, I know it's difficult, it's dangerous for me to ride that horse with his body. Mm. At the same time, it's also the attachment with everything I have acquired, you know, mm. my suit, my, yeah. uh, my uh, briefcase, yeah. mm -hmm. my laptop. Mm -hmm. yeah, the acrimonts of your identity and who you are and yeah. Yeah, I can understand that's being important to you. So there's the longing and there's the there's a gap between the locking and me actually imagining I can step into that place. Yeah, you know? we're different people in a sense. You're the, the guy in the suit as much as you've got the longing and I'm over here, I'm with the horse. Yeah. yeah. And I can relate with the horse, you know, but I cannot ride it. Yes, okay. You know, I can, I can touch it, I can talk to it, I can walk with it. Mm. I can even ride it, but I have to be, you know, I have to be careful. You know? mm. It's it's too rigid, my body. It's almost like the rigidity of my body won't give me balance on the mm. horse. Yeah, it, it needs to be more grounded and yeah. more flexible. Loose. My body, yeah, yeah to be on the horse, you know. Okay. Okay, so I want to swap now. Okay. So I'm I'm over here. I'm like got the longing for where you are mm. and remind me and you know there's the horse and I could connect with the horse but mm -hmm. I'm kind of a bit too rigid to really flow with it mm -hmm. and I've got my my attachments my suitcase and my achievements what's happening for you over there in relation to me I'm almost thinking I have I, I want to give you another horse like mm. for you to try ride and follow me mm that way right well you know that that might work but I, i'm i'm stiff and stiffness isn't probably just gonna go away like the me here yeah i know i don't have any control mm. over your choices mm. like you have to choose that mm. i'm just telling you what right uh, okay. was you'd like to happen another horse so i could accompany you or yeah, just yeah. find my own oh, way yeah, yeah. well i wanted to show you mm. where i come from And how are you with the fact that I'm st stiff and white and... I feel sad. Right. But uh, it's not an... it's kind of detached sad. Like, mm. it, it's not like... Uh, I cannot have an explanation. It's, it's not um, a one. Yeah, it, I'm not attached to mm. your choices, right, you know? Right, yeah. Mm. But I would like to show you something different. Right, okay. Cool. So swap. Okay. Okay, so then it's the guy in the suit, and I'm saying, well, I could get another horse for you and show you some things. What? what do you well, already to? now, my shirt is a bit unbuttoned, okay. and, and the um, the jacket feels a bit more loose in my right. body. Okay. So it's like a bit. Uh, I'm, I'm contemplating on it. Right. But there's still, like you know, in the what um, what holds me back mm -hmm. almost like um, you know you see the science fiction movies that you're caught in the kind of uh, tentacles or slime yeah or, okay you know, it's like uh, or um, net you know yes cool. it's the city like right. it's like it's like I see the big structures ah. of the city and they also have like almost they have a hold on me right you know? like they, they, they give me a, a, a false sense of security mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. it's, the, it's the environment I'm used to mm. The structure, you know. Yeah, that's right. And then it's something I envy in the freedom of the rider, you mm, know. Yeah. So there's the longing, there's the envy. Yeah. There's a little bit of loosening, and there's your being constricted again. Yeah. That is. Well, I'm, I, I, I can see I'm constricted by my fear, you know. Mm. Yeah, that's what's familiar. That's yeah, your yeah. ground, that's your solidity yeah. back yeah, there. Yeah. 
uh, you know, the strings that attach me to the city are my mm. strings, you know, yeah. it's not the city strings. Sure, you know? okay. Mm. It, f it, it looked like it was the city strings, but I realized it's the power I give to the mm. structure, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I respect that. I mean, that is, without judging it, that, that, that is your ground, that is your support, that has been your strength, is those things. Yeah, but it's almost like mental is my ground, not mm. physically, mm. it's just my body is not earthy, mm. you know. Well, no, memory. you're not. But, yeah. you know, well, at least what I'm... The thoughts I have having now is like, well, I can take some of my stuff in the cabin in the woods. You don't have to take everything. You know? All right, okay. Yeah, I can feel the, I can hear the, the impulse and the desire to move in this direction. Mm -hmm. So, what if you just take just take a little step to symbolize that? Like, just see what that's like. Just take even a half a step. Yeah, I mean, the first thing I have to deal with is the tension that cre is created mm. with the things yeah, that attach real. me there. That's real. Yeah, so know. talk to me about some of those attachments. You know, it's just the structure of the city, you know? Mm. Being used to being a controlled uh, mm. um, environment, I guess. So just do an experiment, take a half step back. Okay, so it's two tensions. The one is more visible in the physical sense, mm -hmm. which is these things that hold me to the city. Mm -hmm. But when I step back, I feel that my, you know, the longing of my yeah. heart is being stretched. I'm going further yeah. away from it. So there's also, it's almost in the front, there's one line, but it's a thick one. Right. And it's intangible. Right. But it's also very powerful. Mm. Okay, so now I want you to take like a, a quarter step forward and just feel the, the two connecting places, the draw here and the pull back there. Just experiment with even rocking back and forth. Just it gives yourself some mobility so you can, that's even better, you can rock a little this way to put, lean into this and then rock back into the support of the city and you know, just experience what that's like. To feel the pull both ways. And feel the pain here. Mm. So without breaking away or you know definitively committing yourself either way, experience what it's just like to feel the pulls. Okay, so the I don't know how to say that, but uh, it's almost like a back pull mm. it has more wheel energy, like more mm. masculine mm -hmm. energy. The front pull is more feminine mm -hmm, energy. It's mm -hmm. like okay. Yeah, so just lean into those energies and feel what it's like to move between them. Okay, so this is like the solidity of this one and the um, elusiveness of this one mm -hmm. just tells me now that I have to pay more attention for this to be connected with that pool. Mm -hmm. I have to pay more attention because it's easy to become invisible. Mm -hmm. This pool to become invisible. This one. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. The back one is more visible, right. it's more okay. solid, mm -hmm. it's, okay. you know, it's more tangible. Yeah. You know? So just, stay, if this feels good, just stay with the uh, the awareness both ways, the tangible pull of the, the back in the city mm -hmm. and the elusive but important pull forward.
But the paradox here is that, that the softer pull is stronger mm -hmm. and the harder pull is weaker. Mm -hmm. But in the perception, it's like if that feels that is the solid one. Mm -hmm. But when I focus, it's like uh, there's not no comparison. Mm -hmm. the, uh, mm -hmm. the power, the force, you know. Mm -hmm. Maybe force and power. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And tell me what you feel in your body as you rock between the two. Well, I feel my upper back, you know, that, that, that strings are attached to my upper back. Front feels soft, mm -hmm. you know, and more open, more mm -hmm. soft. Mm -hmm. It's like there's no strain in the pull from the uh, front. Mm -hmm. It's very uh, gentle and the, all the strings upper back. Mm -hmm. rubber bands and mm -hmm. like hardcore mm -hmm. rubber bands mm -hmm. that are in mm -hmm. tension, you know. Mm -hmm. Some of them are snapping. Mm -hmm. What kind of sound do they make when they snap? Mm -hmm. What sort of sound do they make when they snap? I didn't hear sound. Oh, okay. I'm not good with the sound okay. thing. I more images here. Okay. And, and, and sensation. You can see them snapping. Yeah, the, the sensation is just, I don't feel much. Right. You know, I just feel the, the relax, like the, the lesser grip. Right, okay. Okay. Mm Yeah, it's like the question that flies around as I'm doing this process. Mm -hmm. It's like, uh, and I don't know if it's this is um, uns fear of unsafety mm -hmm. or if it's a real mm -hmm. thing. <laughs> it's like, can I live in both? Mm. But I'm not sure if I want to live in both. You know, right. it's, uh, um, it's not clear. You know, right. Well, that that's absorbing your mind. I guess yeah. I'm I'm more just with the experience. <coughs> experience as you move between both. Yeah, the front is soft. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not. It's it's always available. It's like a big mm -hmm. um, light river. You know, the pools like flows. Mm -hmm. it's, mm -hmm. it's very gentle. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, back is uh, more uh, tense. Like I can mm -hmm. physically feel mm -hmm. it on my uh, below the solar blades and mm -hmm. around the solar mm -hmm. blades. Mm -hmm. Well, this right now is living with both. In this moment, this is your experience of living with both. Yes. Mm. I guess, yeah, just just like what this is remind me, it's like I have to pay attention in the one that's less visible, you know. Mm. But it's strong, you know, mm. it's present. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, that will affect my decisions a lot. Chum. Cool. Okay, well, let's um, proceed again. So, I mean, this isn't this isn't something which is like going to be resolved. This is an ongoing process of awareness. It seems to me of yeah, I'm familiar. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah I'm well, some things are a little crisper. It's like there's a settling or yeah, something, yeah. but this is more seems kind of an evolutionary process yeah uh, yeah you know uh, this like I'm not in the mentality that mm. uh, one single step to enlightenment it's <laughs> like it's more about understanding and f mm. the process and flowing with it you know so what do you feel now around the chest area well there's not the hastiness is not there mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit the, the anxiety, but a bit less in the mm -hmm. solar plexus. Mm -hmm. And definitely the, the awareness of that bigger, softer pool. Mm -hmm. like, like, you know, it's a bit cliche, but it's like follow your heart, basically, you yeah. know. And, and, and just 
even before you follow it, you know, just listen it, mm. listen to your heart. So that mechanical spider thing restricting you. Oh, where's the spider? It, okay, so the spider is now like a, a nice big tarantula with, uh, mm -hmm. and I don't have, I like spiders. Sure. And so it's alive. Mm -hmm. And it still has its um, clothing, mm -hmm. but now it's the it's it's biological. biological. Yeah, it's not uh, it's elastic. You know, right. it moves. And the body has more uh, form because be before it was just two round things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nice and hairy. <laughs> <laughs> It's almost like a pet now. It's it's, it's softer, warmer. Mm. Mm. I know it's not the best image for many people, but I like no, spiders, as fine. I said. That's <laughs> great. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. A mascot there. <laughs> Definitely one. Mm. Yeah, it's much more easier now. She she can, you know, if she said pull out the clothes. It, in a, you know, it's she possible. has control. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I, I mean, I can see it. She can do that easily, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, she's turning downwards. Mm. Like, um, I don't know why. And yes, but and also the the image of the city. I'm more aware of of that structure mm. behind me now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Okay, well, we'll finish that process for now. All right, thank you. Yeah, thank you. And uh, so just, just stay there for a moment because I want to just give an opportunity for the you know, you get a bit of feedback in terms of, okay. you know, so I'm, I'm going to invite you to just share whatever you want to in terms of your experience, not not so much like thinking or evaluating or anything, but more just the emotional impact of watching that process. So I'm going to tell Theo something about that, just share that with him. Um, I guess I just felt like, you know, I guess the more you sat with it and eased into it, um, the softening just kind of naturally occurred. And Tell you. Oh, and, and what impact did that have on you? Mm, I guess a softening in myself as well. Mm. Like this more patience, patient uh, feeling, and more present. Mm. <coughs> well, I was interested because uh, I was just reminded that going through some, uh, observing someone else's process <coughs> brought up you know, um, my own uh, reminders to myself just observing someone else's process. <coughs> and that um, some of the things that were coming up for me was <clears throat> anything too rigid causes disconnection and to you know just in myself not to become so rigid and then I become disconnected it's like they kind of go together or one causes the rigidity causes the mm -hmm. disconnection <clears throat> and sometimes that for me going into fear is constricting you know, the, again, those two go together as well, but any kind of fearful situation causes me to go like this and become rigid and constricted. But it should be momentary, you know, just kind of like you're prim it's primal, you're trying to figure out what to do next, you know, because you're going into fear. Um, and the other thing that came up for me, because I hear it all the time from talking to people about how we <clears throat> we see all the negativity in the world and we want we don't want to we don't want to put our life force into that we just don't have the energy for it anymore and but then 
for me, it's like, okay, so using it as a mirror, you know, like what can I do in my own life every day, every minute, every hour? How can I take what I don't like and switch it into something positive, mm. minute by minute, mm. hour by hour, whether it's ecologically mm. or whatever mm. it is, and just making those choices and thinking about them helped me to just in the moment relax mm. into, okay, so I have to look for the, the light, the, the small little things, mm. and that's what's going to help me to not be fearful and mm. rigid and disconnect and all mm. those things. So, yeah, so it was interesting going through your, your process. I was going through my own. Mm. It was interesting. Thank you. Mm. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <clears throat>